The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi everyone, this is Robin Zell, the Director of Marketing for Singles Travel International, and we are here to discuss South America today with our South America guides and experts, Sarah and Robert. They are the hosts of your Galapagos Adventures Tour, as well as your New Year's Eve in Ecuador adventure. Two amazing trips that they've had the experience of enjoying, and they are here to show us today what those trips are like and what they can do for you to make sure you see these amazing places in 2018. I'm gonna throw it over to them. And first of all, some housekeeping. Down in the bottom where it says questions, you can type in your questions and after the presentation, we're gonna take questions and get those answered for you, as well as silence all your devices so we don't have any uh, beeping and buzzing and calls while we're on. And I know, you know, the animals, you can't really silence them as much, but if you can, you're in silent mode already, so until we open it up for for questions, we shouldn't be able to hear you. So here we go with Sarah and Robert. Hi everyone, this is Sarah. And this is Robert. <laughs> so um, so happy that you could join us. We um, are so excited, we love these trips, love sharing um, all these beautiful places with you. So um, yeah, we're really happy to be here with you. So South America is, uh, is a blast and uh, each and every part of this, of these adventures that we're going to show you, is you can actually see how much, how adventurous, how much fun it is. So let the show begin. So we wanted to start off. We've got a couple of videos of our trip, and I know um, it takes a little bit for, for everybody to join in sometimes. So we're going to get started um, with these videos to introduce you to the trip. The, this first trip that we're going to show you is the Ecuador mainland New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve adventure trip. So get ready, fasten those seatbelts, here we go. <laughs> I love Ecuador and every day of this amazing vacation. Thanks to Rob for putting it all together. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I hope uh, you guys enjoyed uh, that a little bit of uh, the adrenaline rush. So now <coughs> we're going to uh, take it uh, down a notch, still with a beautiful adventurous tour with the Galapagos Adventure Tour. Here we go. You know this feeling. It's time to try this feeling in the Galapagos Islands. Into a new world. Slow down and relax. Soak up some sun. It's time to feel playful. That's uh, what it's like to be at both of those locations. So um, now we're going to get started. We have a few more people that have joined us. So I'm really glad um, for the people who are online that had a chance to see that. So now we're going to continue with the next one. So we know that South America is, uh, and especially the Galapagos Islands, a huge bucket list destination. And a bucket list destination is not something that you want to take lightly or book, um, just some trip that you find online, you really want to make it special. You want to really make the most of, of a destination like that. So we're here to give you the secrets to take these bucket list destinations to the next level. So a lot of, a lot of the questions we get, um, what's the best way to see the Galapagos? What's the best time of the year? What is there to do? A lot of people don't know what there is to do in Ecuador. Or, um, why spend New Year's Eve there? So, we're going to answer all these questions for you. And while we're doing um, this lovely presentation, um, we invite you to um, put in the comment section um, why Ecuador came up on the bucket list, why why you're so excited about this destination. And so that'll give us something to talk about. And always, if you have any questions, um, put those into the, the chat as well, and um, we'll, we'll hope to get to all those questions. Yeah, we want to try to make this as interactive as possible. So then this way, you know exactly what excites you about these trips to make sure we uh, emphasize and really get uh, the, uh, really, really make sure we can answer any questions along those lines. So here we go. That's the next one. Oh, and by the way, I want to make sure you all stay to the end because at the end of this presentation, we're going to give you um, a few important reasons why you want to wait to the end to be able to book and know how critical it is. Yeah. Well, you don't want to wait to book. Well, well booking early is going to help save you a lot. So that's going to come right at the end. Um, well, after we describe these great places. So. so what makes our tours unique? Well, first of all, it's gorgeous. Like you can see there, uh, it, it's, it's, it's incredible. The buildings are 
um, out, of the, out of the way. And along with that, we have our host, who uh, the, the blonde young lady on the person's left is Sarah. And that person to the right is me. Robert. So we are your hosts. We are we're going to be able to give you the tours and uh, adventures that you're going to be really enjoying each and every single day. And we really pride ourselves on putting together really unique itineraries, um, making sure that we hand hook all the, the locations, the sites, everything that we take you to so that you're getting the best. This isn't um, just the most affordable or the, the cheapest way to see these places. We're making sure that, that your time is really valued that you're getting the best locations that you can see in a six or seven day vacation. Yeah, right there, all the people are at 14,000 feet in Teleferico and going a nice uh, uh, day hike. And if, you, uh, and, you, and if you notice, Woody Woodpecker did make it on the trip. <laughs> <laughs> so we wanted to give you a couple um, of the testimonials that we've received back just to show you how much uh, people have loved the trips, how much they're different than the other just your standard tours out there. This isn't just shuttling you from place to place. This is us, you know, enjoying the locations with you just like we would our, our best friends, our family. Yeah, and um, so, uh, I want to make sure that you read through this one along with uh, the other testimonials as well. Um, the, when you arrive on this trip, I'm of the belief to everyone you meet, as if you've known them all your life and you have friends everywhere you go. And truly, by the end of this trip, we've become friends with each and every one of them and so feel so blessed to not only met them, but also to have honored, the honor to have taken them all over and filmed the best of Ecuador. So we know that the, uh, the search for travel options is exhausting. I mean, that's, that's where I started. That's where Robert started. When you're looking for a vacation, you're on the computer, you're talking to people at travel agents, comparing, just looking where those travel dollars are going to be best spent. And um, your time is money and it's exhausting. So that's why we put everything together for you. So that's why we wanted to, to let you know what the three secrets um and these are these are our, our second home the the galapagos in ecuador we love it so much this is we've got friends everywhere that we travel here and that's the the side of the galapagos in ecuador that we want to show you so that's why we feel confident in showing you the the secrets to why this makes us the, the best galapagos adventure that you're going to find out there secret number one don't get stuck on a boat um, why? Because? I mean, most people think that the only way you can see the Galapagos is on a, a yacht, you some kind of yacht or cruise where you're island hopping. And the problem with that is you miss the beautiful nightlife, um, interacting with the people, seeing the real culture of the islands. Yeah, that's when it gets good. And unfortunately, at 5 o'clock, that's when they have to return. So there's so many great things to do when you're on land and you're able to experience the culture, the wildlife, the sunsets, and being able to just yeah. be on the island and not have to be restricted to having to go onto a boat at five o'clock. It's incredible. The first night that we're there, we usually spend uh, right on Playa Man, where uh, you, can, you can grab a beer, you can um, hang out on the beach. There's sea lions walking alongside of you. We're seeing these gorgeous sunsets and enjoying a nice relaxing walk back to the hotel. Uh, taking you to um, Giuseppe's, where the um, chef is so fantastic. He'll prepare a special dinner for us. Just incredible. All this stuff that you'd miss um, if you had to jump back on that boat at 5 o'clock. Yeah, one of my favorite experiences being on that Playa Mon, having, having a beer and having a corn on the cob. <laughs> Doesn't get too much better than that. <laughs> So I don't know uh, how many people out there get motion sickness. That's something that you know you're always fighting um, on a, a cruise or yacht too, because these aren't these aren't your huge cruises. These are smaller boats, so you've always got the chance of motion sickness and smaller cabins. We've got lovely hotel rooms, beautiful partners that we work with on both islands. You're gonna be nice and comfortable your whole stay. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm a. I have a. I get a lot of uh, motion sickness. I'm a big baby when it comes to it. But you know what? The great thing about it is all that is avoided because we're not on a yacht. 
on a, uh, on a big boat rolling along and having that opportunity to get sick here, you're going to be on an island and so much, so beneficial. So next month, I don't know if you can see this picture down below, that's the, the octopus. Every night, you are treated to the most incredible, um, freshest food, whether it's, you know, seafood. If you're a seafood lover, you'll be in heaven, but also just incredible um On a, a yacht tour, they're restricted by law to uh, maintain certain standards and frozen meat. Yeah, so because of that, um, we, are, while being on the island, we have so much experience to, so much opportunity to be able to have and to eat so many different food that is fresh right there on your plate each and every meal. And you get to embrace the um, a really much more sustainable travel to the islands and support the local communities. Like I mentioned, we we know the the owners of the restaurant. We, we talk to them. We talk to them before we show up to make sure whatever we're serving is the freshest catch of the day. And um, again, we are treated like friends and family as soon as you show up for the evening. Yeah, and um, if, if you if people pay. On you know, a cruise liner or any kind of like in that in that aspect, um, that cruise line organization is going to receive all the benefits. The locals they don't, and that's uh, th that's something that I feel really proud about. That we're each and every single one of us are able to make that impact into the people's lives on that island for the good. So and the other reason that um, people are looking at and compare the Galapagos trips is how many islands they're going to go to. We're here to share the secret. Don't count islands, count the experiences. You can go to 10 different islands and see blue-footed boobies and uh, some kind of land tortoises and, you know, the same kind of animals over and over again. If you, we've, we've crafted this beautiful itinerary so that you can have all those experiences on a couple islands, cut out all that unnecessary skipping and hopping and overly travel so you feel exhausted by the end of the week. Instead, you can have a nice, enjoyable experience, have more time soaking in the culture, and, and not have to worry about just being exhausted. Yeah, um, it's, um, it's about the experiences that you're able to have not only on land, uh, with the animals, um, the beaches, the the food, the uh, itinerary, the adventure, you're, and you're able to see all the animals on on these uh, two um, on these two islands. So I'm really excited to make sure that you um, uh, experience this and uh, and have these uh, experiences for yourself. And the other thing you don't want to do is you don't want to miss the best time of the year. Now, the Galapagos are right along the equator, and they enjoy just amazing things all year round. There's, there's something different every month of the year. So there's benefits, but we picked November and December for very good reasons. Um, we just found the perfect balance of, of all these things at this time. And there's less tourists. Um, we're out of the peak season, so you're not going to be overly crowded or, or competing for space on a boat. There's very little rains. Um, I, when I, every time I've been there, I would say we've gotten so lucky with, um, if, it, if it has rained, it will rain for a little bit, but because the microclimates, you're still able to enjoy the beaches and the tours, and it has an effect in a negative impact at all. And you get higher temps without overly intense sun. They break up the seasons in the Galapagos to two main seasons, hot but rainy and cool but dry. So November and December are actually transition months, and that's why we can enjoy the best of both worlds. We get that, that low um, chance of rain, so you're still going to be able to be outside, be a part of nature, catch those animal experiences, but have, um, have warmer temps, temperatures without being just overly intense. I mean, we're on the equator. If you get if you get too hot, the difference of five degrees can mean a whole lot by the end of the day. That sun gets really intense. So November and December just beautiful balance. And the, the one of the um one of the important things is being able to be in the water 
and to be able to have it not be so choppy. Uh, if you've ever experienced a choppy boat trip, it's not a lot of fun. So the, the great thing about doing these tours during this time is that it's more relaxed, more enjoyable for each and every time that you go out. And when you're underneath the water, you're, it's so clear to see those hammerheads, to see those uh, white fin sharks and um, uh, iguanas and everything. It's just so much clearer and so much softer to make it seem as if they're coming right at you. So this is a land-based tour, but we still want to make sure that you have that, that wildlife experience, that you are getting great snorkel experience. If you're a scuba diver, you get the scuba experience. And um, and uh, the day trip that we have to Bartolome Island is incredible. Just don't want to miss that one. So to have calm waters, the calm currents for, for all these times that you are on the water is hugely important. It's a, really great thing as a matter of fact um it, it's, it's such a great island uh russell crowe made a movie called master commander so that's your homework assignment um to make sure you uh watch that and get an idea for what's in, what's in store All right. so this is this is everything that we've done to put together um just on the front end just to make sure that you guys are having the best experience all your accommodations most of your meals. What we did is we left out a couple of dinners, um, one on each island, that'll give you the uh, a night on each island to explore on your own if you want um, to, to check out different. And there's such incredibly reasonable meals that you don't have to worry about that being a huge expense to you. And we're going to be right there to make recommendations, or you can join us for dinner. Yeah. So um, again, this is going to be your trip your experiences, we've laid it out for you. We've picked out the best of the best, and we, uh, we're looking forward to having you join us and showing you uh, all the great stuff. Yeah. So again, we want to remind you, we've got all of our, um, our specials for this webinar and everything right at the end, so stay tuned. Um, and we're also gonna let you know some secrets why booking early is so critical. So now, well, let's talk about the three secrets for visiting the best Ecuador adventure. So this is the, the second tour that we have, and um, let's get right into it. This is a really super adventure, um, uh, high energy, sorry, tour, that um, just every day is, is packed with a lot of activities, a lot of fun. So uh, we're definitely going to get your adrenaline pumping on this one. And you're going to be uh, uh, surrounded by pure beauty. Um, Teleferica, you're at 14,000 feet um, traveling. And to the left of you, you see nothing but beautiful panoramic view of the um, volcanic terrain. And to the right, nothing but the beautiful um, city of Quito. We have the option to do um, horseback riding here. It's a really cool way to see um, the sights and see the city below. And um, in the video, you were able to see the incredible uh, water rafting. Um, that's incredible, intense. Um, that will definitely get your uh, blood uh, pumping. <laughs> and again, this is another, um, just our, our friends of many years. Uh, we all have a great time rafting together. We spend the whole day, we um, check out this huge 30-foot uh, waterfall, and you can just feel the wind coming off of it. Um, some people have gone for a swim. Uh, the the dinner at the end of the day is incredible. So th the whole day is just packed with, with a lot of fun. Um, zip lining, that's what you saw earlier with the person uh, upside down. There's different uh, variations. That was one of them. And that's the interesting thing is here in the uh, cloud forest, you're able to uh, do something that in most places around the world, we're not able to do with each one of the zip lines has a different personality and to, you're able to do different tricks um like going upside down and uh some are a little bit bouncier some are faster and it's uh, 10 lines totaling 2,000 yards of uh fun up in the sky and this is a good example of how um this trip is just kind of perfect for everybody because we want to have that great adventure but you can kind of tweak it so you can take it to the level that you want. If you want to just a nice, beautiful zip lining, you're going to have an amazing experience. You want to take it to the next level and do a trick. 
go for it. We've got um, more hikes that you can add on. You can make this as big of a challenge as you're ready for. So. Secret number two. Um, you're going to get a New Year's Eve party to beat all others. We plan this specifically over New Year's Eve because it's the most incredible time to visit Ecuador. Again, we're right on the equator, so all year round, we're, getting, we're enjoying the same beautiful weather. But at New Year's Eve, we've got this unbelievable party. It's not like all these disappointing parties back here at home when you go and you're just sitting around and waiting in line at the bar for drinks and everything. The whole night, yeah, um, everybody gets dressed up. It's like a mix of Halloween and Mardi Gras. <laughs> and everybody's partying in the streets. There's fireworks, bonfires. Like, it's hard to – we'll tell you all about the customs. We don't want to spoil all the all the, the surprises and the fun here. But the whole night just – I mean, a whole event in itself. Exactly, and um, it's a, it's a, like she said, it's a beautiful explosion of Halloween and Mardi Gras put together. So um, it's a blast. So if you've ever wanted to do something really unique and different for New Year's Eve, something to make all your friends jealous, this is the party to go to. So secret number three: uh, get inside access for really unique experiences. So the gentleman uh, there, his name is Cristobal Ortega, and he's in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the fastest painter in the world with his hands. Um, he doesn't paint by brush. He only uses his thumbs, nails, and palms. He is incredible, um, not only as a painter, but he's also a great friend of ours. And he's such a great friend that Sally and I actually so every trip we um, we get some time with him personally, and he'll do paintings on the site for us. Um, if, if you want to personalize it in some way, uh, um, these are paintings. This guy usually sells them for a thousand dollars and up, and and he just really takes care of our group um, to make this such an amazing, unique day. It's such a beautiful place. It's called Temple del Sol. Paul and I decided to have that be the place for us to get married. So you're gonna get a chance to see um, how special this place really is. Yeah. So it's just one example, but the whole week we're, we're really taking you on um, on our tour, on our favorite places, making it really unique and special. Um, we, we talk to the group if there's, you know, if there's some things that you've heard about, read about that we can fit in. This is, this is a really amazing, um, unique trip. And it's really tailored. It's tailored to the group. It's special for the the really unique experiences that we can give to you. Yeah, and one of the things that we love to do is we like to have complete transparency and speak to the people individually and as a group um, on a daily basis to let us know um, are they enjoying it, how can we make it better, to let us know right then and there to really make sure that by the end of the trip it's everything that you expected and then some. Oh, and just so we got some pictures here. Some of our favorite things, the um, the hot springs, the picture that you see on the right is just unbelievable. Um, these therapeutic hot springs are the best way to wrap up our high energy, you know, just super excitement week. We wind down, we enter our New Year's Eve party, we, um, we go to the hot springs the next day, where we just soak in these medicinal waters, we feel so completely rejuvenated before heading home. It is definitely the, the the best feeling of wellness and rejuvenation your body will ever feel in your life. I guarantee it. <laughs> right. So here's just a list of all the things that you get. Again, everything really lays out for you. It makes it really easy. And and that's the, the beautiful thing, too, about uh, going on a tour like this is you're not spoiled on all of the, the sites that you're going to see. By overly researching them, you can book a trip and know that you're going to get the best in that location and not feel like you've seen it all before by Googling and, and researching and everything. You just get to enjoy the experience. So, so what you may be asking yourself, oh my God, Robert, so what do I do next? <laughs> so you can um, log into Singles Travel International and look for both the Galapagos Island Adventure and New Year's Eve Adventure. And we actually have two Galapagos Island Adventures. 
one in November from the 10th to the 16th and one in um, New Year's, uh, right uh, after the news, January 2nd through the 8th. Now, There's also some um, some additional packages that we offer to make your tea that much more comfortable and durable. The biggest thing that we um, have put together is a keto concierge package. And there's different ones for our different uh, Galapagos trips. What that does is if you, cannot, um, if you choose not to get a flight into the Galapagos on your own, you can just book your flights into and out of the um, keto and we'll take care of everything else for you. You come in a couple nights early, you get a tour of the city, you get to enjoy, make sure that your bags arrive on time and everything's taken care of. We, we do the pre-registration into the Galapagos Islands. We walk you through, you know, just walk you through hand by hand every step of the way. So you have nothing to worry about and you know that you're just gonna be able to arrive and enjoy the Galapagos. And we all love that VIP service, don't we? So uh, this is definitely a great package. The so. really cool thing, actually, um, if you do do the um, the January uh, Galapagos trip, our keto concierge package includes that New Year's Eve party in keto. So you're going to have the best New Year's Eve and then be able to come in and enjoy the Galapagos. So... You can always book extra nights in Quito. This hotel um, that we stay at is actually outside of Quito uh, in uh, the Pombo Valley. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, this hotel, uh, it's called San Jose de Pombo, and it's uh, a beautiful location that has over 80 hotel rooms. And the, the, the facility has everything from um, an animal reserve area where there's peacocks and uh, oh, yeah, so yeah it's, and that's one of the things that people do is they'll get in the morning get out and get a chance to see these beautiful animals um these llamas as well we walk around the grounds uh the, so yeah. the cool thing about this is um a lot of people you know think you've got to stay in keto keto is actually like if you stay in the downtown it can be an hour or more with traffic to get into and out of We've chosen this hotel because it's so tranquil, tranquil and peaceful, miles of walking trails, and, um, and you don't have to worry about that. They're able to get to all of their sites more conveniently, get onto the airplane, get over to the Galapagos without having all that added commute time. And um, the key here is you're going to be in a beautiful um, uh, area that has uh, trees, birds. You'll have hummingbirds wake you up in the morning. How incredible is that? Hummingbirds will wake you up in the morning as opposed to being in the city of Quito where there's that traffic, the congestion, the air pollution, um, it, it's, it, and, and, the, and the weather is uh, cloudier and it's uh, more, uh, more rainy. So if you Google uh, Quito and you look at the weather, it's always gonna say rainy, <clears throat> rainy. Well, that's because Quito is next to the mountainous terrain and that mountainous terrain always has a, a meteorological effect of cloud and rain. Well, guess what? In the valley, which is 30 minutes away, you don't have that. It's nothing but pure sunshine. It's like spring during the day and fall in the afternoon evening. So that's, this is also our home base for uh, the Ecuador New Year's Eve adventure. The whole time you're gonna have this really cool beautiful place um, a spa on site just everything so and the other thing I really want to mention today was that Bartolome tour that Rob mentioned this is the site that that they did film that movie master and commander we definitely encourage you to to check that out before coming and um, it's really the most iconic that's where this picture was taken uh, the most iconic view of the Galapagos tour that's why this one has to be separated out from our um, general tour because spaces do fill up quick. There's only uh, maybe 18 spaces on the yacht that we share with us. So um, you got to book your, your spot early to make sure that it's reserved. Yeah, and there's some people who have signed up but because they've waited and they signed up a little bit later, they were not able to um, have a ticket for the Bartolome Yacht Tour. Um, so they didn't join our group. They were able to do another tour, 
which is which was a, a phone tour in itself, it wasn't the Bartolome tour. And that's what I want to make sure is you don't miss out on this tour. This is incredible. Oh, this, this is also where um, you get a chance. There's there's no promises in the Galapagos because this isn't a zoo. We can't uh, we can't nail the the animals down. But this is where we spot the um, the Galapagos penguin, the second smallest penguins in the world. So we have we've spotted at least one on every trip so far, and um, and even swam with them a couple times. So this is it's a pretty incredible experience. They're pretty good swimmers, by the way. <laughs> All right, and last, we do have options for um, for scuba, either upgrading on St. Christopher Island from our snorkel tour, or adding it um, a, a, on in Santa Cruz Island for uh, for Bartolome. So you can you definitely add on scuba if you like, but they are very strict about um, about their uh, their checks and getting all the paperwork done ahead of time. So if you do want to add on scuba, it's definitely something that we need to look at sooner than later. And when you go under the water, expect to see sea lions, um, sharks, the uh, iguanas, turtles. Manta oh my rays, god! Rays. The air. Yeah, my favorite are the turtles. Seeing these um, um, turtles swimming in the in the water and going below, it looks so beautiful, so prehistoric, and you're only a few yards away from watching their beauty in the water. All right, so we keep talking about this. Why booking early is so critical. The biggest, biggest thing is those flight costs. Um, I know everybody thinks that they're gonna get last minute deals. We have not seen this on flights to Ecuador in the Galapagos. It's not that popular of a destination where they get those last minute deals. Um, so generally what we've seen is that people that book early get to enjoy the biggest savings. Yeah, so um, I'm always um, a really good planner and uh, I try to do things in advance. Um, and I found that by doing things in advance, you, you, it's, you just have peace of mind and you end up saving a lot. I want to make sure that you take advantage of this as well by being able to be, be a good planner, think ahead and save lots of money. Win, win, win. Um, and like we said, that Bartolome Yacht Tour does sell out. We need to get those booked as soon as we can in advance. And same for the scuba diving. So, uh, so yeah, that, that's really uh, about what we've got for the, the packages themselves. Um, let's see. Before we go on, do we have any questions? No questions so far? Yeah, this is a quiet group over here. <laughs> I, I want you guys to tell us about the activity level for these trips. And because our demographic is a little bit older, you know, 45 and up, um, are these great trips that are they easily accessible for people who are a little bit older? These are going to be high activity trips. We, we pack a lot, especially the New Year's Eve. That is a very packed itinerary. If you choose, you can um, you can hang back at, like I said, the hotel's gorgeous. We've got a beautiful spa. If you choose, you can do that um, on your own. But what we did is we offered the best itinerary that's very packed. And if, if you need to adjust it to yourself, that might mean sitting out a day or or missing out on something, um, so so that would be that would be on your own. But we we've got a really high energy packed itinerary because we want to make the most of your your time and your vacation dollars. And so the the other thing is because everybody has different amounts of energy levels, different ages, uh, different um, uh, skill abilities. So what we've done is um, not only can you hang back and let's say not go on a trip because. Um, you're, you're a little bit tired, that's fine. Uh, also, if you decide to go on a tour, it's also not a competition. So the people, let's say, when we're, we're hiking at 14,000 feet at Telefenco, if you're a really avid and active hiker, you go with the fast group. The medium-paced uh, hikers go with the medium group, and the slow-paced hikers go with the slower group. And then we all get to a certain point, and then we come back. And we come back all together this way. Everyone's hiked the proper amount, 
and hasn't um, uh, put a burden on anyone else's trip. So, and oh, by the way, I'm usually with the slow group, so <laughs> so don't worry about it. If uh, You'll be able to uh, do it. You, you just push yourself to what you know you can do So because you don't want to overextend and overexceed that. And we'll make sure you are able to have everything that you need to be able to do everything that we're doing. Excellent. I know when I was in the Ecuador trip, we had people in their 60s who kept up quite well. It's not, you don't really have to be a super athlete to, to do these things. No, there is, there is a fair amount of, you know, there's a couple areas where there is some walking. It's not, it's not an intense hike. It's not a challenging, your paved trails. It's, it's really a beautiful experience. And, and then when, when we do get to, to Ecuador for the New Year's Eve, the, the hiking that we have available, again, that's really, you know, what, whatever you're ready for. Those, this high energy, if you're looking for that, that real adventure, we've got that. We're ready for you. Yeah. And, uh, oh, and uh, just thinking about one experience here is um, the dolphins. Uh, uh, as you we were coming back from Bartolome, there were uh, dolphins that were just jumping all over on the side of the boat on either side it was incredible just a school of dolphins right alongside it's one of the most beautiful things you'll ever see so i hope you get a chance to experience that yeah that was great they swam with us the whole way right up against the boat it was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know what? I think they were trying to get more information about Singles Travel International. <laughs> <laughs> Very fast. <powerful. laughs> um, let's see. So let's keep going here. I want to show you um, what, what we've got and also make sure that before we lose anybody that we get to, to tell you about our special offer for today. So generally, um, we offer these both at um, – uh, a shared room and as your own room the single supplement is really very reasonable we really work to, to negotiate really good rates so you can get your own room for $37.99 and or if you want to save a little money and get a shared room for $32.99 and that's going to include everything that that we already talked about that's the game yeah. <laughs> For um, New Year's Eve, again, we um, we've got a, a really great rate for singles, twenty six ninety nine, and to save a little bit of money, um, you can share a room, um, free roommate matching, for twenty one ninety nine. Yeah, so um, and it's just for um, a few hundred dollars more, you get to have your own room, and uh, it's that's pretty special. So yeah. that's what a U that is. Oh, go ahead, Robin. The hotel's beautiful. They really, they're really nice. Yeah, yeah the, the, their food, their breakfasts, the way they lay out the food. Um, it, it, it just, the, what I like about the hotel is that, let's say if you, you stay at a traditional um, um, a Hilton or Marriott, uh, you could be anywhere in the world, but they all kind of have that same feel. Over here, you know you're in Ecuador with the decor, with the woodwork, with the paintings, with everything around it. You know you're in Ecuador with that beautiful, cozy um, uh, feeling in the suburbs. So here's our really special offer for everyone on the webinar, anyone that's booking um, soon, March 31st. This is the, the really, uh, truly great reason to, to book early. Um, so we're offering that anyone that books uh, by March 31st gets a free upgrade, no single supplement. So get your own room and um, your own privacy, no added cost. So again, for the, the Galapagos adventure, that brings your price to your own room down to $32.99. Wow, that's pretty awesome over here, $500 savings. And again, for the New Year's Eve adventure, $21.99. That's another $500. And, um, I, we're just giving it all away. <laughs> but remember, the main reason why we're doing this is to make sure that um, it saves you money, um, not just initially on this course of this trip, but also um, being able to have your, your own room, and more importantly, uh, saving money on 
your um, uh, arrival into Ecuador and guarantee your um, tickets for the special excursions like the Bartolomés or the, the, any of the concierge packages that we listed. I highly recommend the concierge package for the Galapagos guys. Everybody took that when I was there and almost everybody. And it was just a, a really nice tour of Quito, which is UNESCO World Heritage Site. If that's on your bucket list to see those sites, you, um, Quito was one of them. And it's just nice and easy. They get you through the process and get you to the islands. Um, it's a very smooth transition and you get to meet everybody ahead of time. So it's a great opportunity to do that as well and spend some extra time in uh, Quito if you can. Either way, on either trip, I was highly recommend it. It's a beautiful country. Uh, one more thing that I, um, we, we don't, it's brand new. We don't even have it in our slides here yet. We've also included a special um, Galapagos add-on for the New Year's Eve adventure. So if you're able to stay a few extra days, after your lovely stay in um, in Ecuador, you can add on um, the Galapagos for just a few days, or you can combine them because our New Year's Eve adventure wraps up on January 2nd, and our Galapagos adventure starts on January 2nd. You can combine those together, so you really get the best of both of these incredible um, South American adventures. And who doesn't like to combine? And if you, and if you get a chance, try to um, and get a little bit more time off from work, and it'll definitely make your trip there really, really that much more enjoyable if you can get those two weeks off. And it's right around the Christmas holidays and New Year's Eve, so um, I think uh, you know, and it blends into the uh, the other year. So hopefully, you'll be able to uh, explain that to the boss and say you really, really got to go to Ecuador for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> You've already made the big flight down. You might as well make the most of your time. So I really look forward to having you join us. It's um, it, it's something really, uh, really uh, true to our hearts. Um, both Sarah and I, we have engineering backgrounds, and I um, and I'm of Ecuadorian descent, and I'm really proud to each and every single time show you the the beauty of the country from the from the different terrain and the topography of the lands to the people to the food to the experiences and um, I, I just want to make sure that when you arrive you really enjoy uh, all those things and uh, we leave um, being the best of friends as well so um, yeah uh, we, we may we may just get best friends t-shirts by the end of the trip uh, we should have no questions if you've got questions, you can always give us a call at 877-SOLO-TRIP. We're there 9 to 5 Eastern Time, Monday through Friday, or shoot us an email, and we can get your questions answered as well. We do hope to see you in South America in 2018 and maybe even 2019. We'd love to have you join us. We've been doing this trip for many years, and it's one of our favorite offerings. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time, uh, for listening, and thank you. Um, for um, questions and um, um, we'll definitely look forward to seeing you on the trip real, real soon. Thank you so much. Bye everybody.